Hallelujah. Put out your hands for Jesus. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on, put the two hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kindly take your seats in the heavenly places and uh, give a five to your neighbor. Just tell them you are welcome in the presence of God. You are welcome in the presence of God. You are welcome in the presence of God. Thank you so much, worship team. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Put it to hands for the worship team. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, if you have got a mouth, shout that hallelujah on top of your voice. Amen. Shout hallelujah on top of your voice. Hallelujah. Just give high five to your neighbor. Tell them they are welcome. 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 Just tell them, where are you? Where are you? I can't hear your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a subject that I've captioned, dealing with blood battles. I repeat again, we are talking about a subject captioned, dealing with blood battles. Ladies and gentlemen, blood is the only commodity that can buy and sell in the spirit. I repeat again, blood is the only commodity that can buy and sell in the spirit. In another way, your blood is equivalent to the salary. Your blood is equivalent to the salary. Which means when battles are so much intense, when people pray and it fails, when people fast and it fails, then there is the last weapon which is called blood. Blood is the red card of God. I repeat again. Blood is the red card of God. When everything fails, blood cannot fail. That's the reason when God wants to make an everlasting covenant, when God was, must bless somebody, he blesses somebody on the basis of covenant. And what is a covenant? A covenant is, 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 is an agreement between two and more people for them to receive a reward. And where there is covenant, there is blood involved. Say blood. Lift your hands. Say blood. 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 So when we talk about the blood battles, they are not answered by prayer. They are not answered by prayer and fasting. They are not answered by how you come to church. They answer by you engaging the blood. Revelation. Revelation chapter number 12. Verse 11, let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Let's start from number nine. The Bible says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and the Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Listen to me. They are battles, there are battles that are not answered by prayer. Listen to me. Satan is not afraid of prayer. Satan is not afraid of your suit. Satan is not afraid of how you look like. Satan is afraid of blood. <laughs> Let's read number 11. The Bible says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. Now is come salvation. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no salvation without the sprinkling of the blood. You will never be saved and you can never be saved. You can never be redeemed if blood is not shed. I don't know what kind of a blood is speaking against you. I don't know what kind of a blood is against your marriage. I come to introduce not a blood of a chicken, not a blood of a rat, Amen. not a blood of a mosquito. Amen. This is a blood that speaks better things oh, than the blood of Abel. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. It is not just a mere blood. It is not just a red color. This is a human being speaking. Say blood, 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 blood. 
Lift your hands, say blood. Blood. There will never be salvation. There will never be redemption. There will never be forgiveness of sins if blood is not involved. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter how much powerful you can be, no matter how much fire rise you can be, without the atonement, be saved without the informant of blood your life will be stagnant that's the reason the bible said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and they loved not their lives unto death amen say blood blood the blood of jesus it is the weapon to paralyze satanic harassment Whenever marriage, marriage becomes a challenge, blood must be involved. If you must overcome, you don't overcome on the basis of your prayer. You overcome on the basis of engaging. You engage an the instrument called blood. Say blood. Blood. Lift your hands. Say blood. Blood. Say blood. Blood. Say blood. Blood. Let's read that scripture. Number 11. One, two, three, go. Let's read. One, two, three, go. Read it like a soldier. Come on. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Read it until your spirit also reads. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. We are talking about destroying or breaking or dealing with bloodline battles. Amen. Are you listening to me here? Amen. And how must you deal with them? Number one, you need to understand that there are weapons that God has set in place. It is not just prayer which is a weapon. There are other weapons that you must engage for you to be victorious. The Bible said they overcame the devil. The devil was the persecutor of brethren. The devil is the destroyer. The devil is the one who has been making brethren to fight. The Bible says they overcame him. Not by prayer. Not by fasting. They overcame him by the blood. Amen. Amen. Number one weapon that you need to understand when you are encountering blood battles is the blood of Jesus. Amen. Whenever you discover that where you are coming from, your brothers are the same, your uncle died the same like your father, everyone is prima the premature death, there's sickness, there's HIV, know that that is bloodline battles. Bloodline battles are not sought out by prayer. They are sought out by engaging blood. Amen. Say blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood. blood. Hey, shout it like you remember Holy Ghost Sabbath. Blood, 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 blood. In my family, in all my generation, I'm the only prophet. I'm the only prophet. I'm the only one who's doing well. I'm the only one who first bought the first car. First car. I'm the first one who bought a house. I'm the first one who broke the legacy by going abroad. Amen. I prophesy over your life. I receive. You shall break the bloodline legacy. I receive it. How? Listen to me. How do you know that you are experiencing blood battles? Ladies and gentlemen, look at where 
you are coming from. Look at your grandfather. Look at your mother. Look at what you went through. Look at your sister. Look at your ministry. Look at your financial status. You will come to discover that you are not the only one. Your brother has the same issue. Your mother has the same issue. Your uncle stand with the same sickness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not normal. These are blood battles. Blood battles are sought out by the blood of Jesus. Oh, yes. When we engage the blood of Jesus, uh-huh. the blood of Jesus goes to paralyze. Ah. Let me leave it. Because you people are too calm. Ah. Look at okay, 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 okay. The sickness that you have, you are not the first one. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number 11, the Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new under the sun. Who's about it? You think you are the only one who divorced? Huh? You think you are the only one who divorced? You think you are the only one who is barren? Look at other people. Ask your mother how many years it took her to have you. That's the reason. The first thing that you need to understand before you begin to fight battles. Ladies and gentlemen, don't fight the battle that you don't know. You will die. There are people that are fighting things that they don't know. Before you begin a battle, you need to reach a level of knowledge. Where did it start from? What kind of a devil? What is the size of the devil? Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. Fire. Say fire. Fire. Say fire. Fire. Never fight the devil that you don't know where the devil started from. Never fight a battle. Never be in a ring that you don't know the opponent. They will kill you. The first thing that you need to do it is to access what kind of a problem is in your lineage. Today I came to release somebody. I receive it. This 30 minutes, I release you. I receive it. From every bloodline battle. I receive it. Listen, that's the reason Apostle Paul, he said, every time I want to do good, I find myself doing evil. Why? There is a battle in the blood. You want to give these powers from your family. They are telling you, in our family, we don't give. In our family, we don't build houses. In our family, we don't get married. In our family, we don't have a mega church. I prophesy. I prophesy. I I disconnect you from that blood. I receive it. And I connect you to the blood of Jesus. I receive it. The reason Jesus did not come using the Adamic blood, he came using the God kind of a blood. Amen. Amen. Look, you need to look, you need to understand that no matter how beautiful you are, demons are not afraid of your face. Demons are afraid of the person who has a revelation of the blood. Your husband is misbehaving. You, it's not him. It is bloodline battle. It is inside blood. That's the reason you are prayed for him. You are fasted for him. The more you fast, is the more he continues. How do you know that the, whatever you are facing, it is a blood battle? Number one, when you have prayed and it's not going. When you are prayed and it's not going, know that it's a blood battle. When you are fasted, you have finished the whole syllabus of prayer and it's not going. 
know that that's a black battle. Whenever you have been coming to church and your situation remains the same, know that it is a black battle. You have been faithful in the church and you still remain financially crippled. Know that it is a black battle. Whenever you pray, you pray and you find yourself the more you pray is the more you are being victimized. The more you pray is the more you are being attacked. The more you pray you are, you are being harangued, molested, harassed, bastardized, scattered, tortured. God is a God of secrets. There are things that he wants you to know so that you can come out victorious. The Bible says for this cause, the son of God was manifested. How was he manifested? He was manifested by the blood. Jesus came here on earth using the blood. He came here on earth using the blood. The Bible for this cause, the Son of Man was manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy. How did he destroy it? By the sprinkling of the blood. Whenever you see yourself, whenever you see yourself, you are giving, you are giving, and your situation is still the same. The more you give is the more financial problems you have. Know that it is not, it is not an ordinary problem. It is demonic sponsored. Say fire. So the Bible says, these people, these people, they did not overcome their problems. They did not have victory using prayer. They overcame the devil by engaging the last card of God. Ladies and gentlemen, when problems are so tight, when you have tried everything, when you have prayed, when you have fasted, and nothing is going, ladies and gentlemen, there is the blood of Jesus. Ah. The blood of Jesus is the last card of God. Oh, yes. Whenever you lift it, Satan is executed. Ah. Shout, I receive. I receive it. Whenever you are playing, whenever you are playing with your opponent, let me tell you, life is a battle. You need to understand that life is a battle. Life is not a fanfare. Life is a battlefield. If you are, if you are in the battlefield, you don't play with your enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy is after molesting you. The enemy is after finishing you. The enemy is after finishing your marriage. How do you do? You also engage the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, when the enemy comes like a flood, Jehovah will lift up a standard. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. How do you lift up a standard, the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Power. He comes in your marriage. You stop praying now. You now have an understanding that it does not go by prayer. Ah. It goes now by engaging the blood. Ah. When he comes, you say, Barusha Balia, ah. the blood of Jesus. Ah. I am protected. Ah. My coming is protected. Ah. My children are protected. Ah. Lift your hand and shout the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Son, whenever you find yourself in a situation where there are competitors, there are people that are doing the same things. You don't play. Life. Solomon. I receive. I receive. Solomon, listen to me. Solomon was not supposed to be king. Are you listening to me here? Solomon was the son of a prostitute. Kabalia. Solomon was the son of a prostitute. And the son of a prostitute is not allowed to be king. Are you listening to me here? The one who was supposed to be king, it was the son of the first, the first wife of the king. Palia Balia Kadusa Balia. Arisi. Marusha Balika Duzani. Arisi. Solomon, he was not supposed to be king. He was the child of a prostitute. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some of you, the powers of your family, they are fighting your enthronement. They 
They are fighting your success. They are fighting your getting married. They are fighting your prosperity. They are fighting your glory. They are fighting your moving forward. I don't know what kind of a family you are coming from. I came as a prophet to come and bring an end to every black battle. I declare and declare by the blood of sweetly. I release you from every curse. I release you from every family. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down. Whenever you see that you are beautiful and you are not getting married, know that is a blood battle. Know that is a blood battle. Whenever you walk like an elephant and eat like a rat, know that is a blood battle. Whenever you wake up early in the morning, you do your level best. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 126, verse number 5, the Bible says they wake up early in the morning and they sleep late. Still more, they eat the bread of sorrow. Who wakes up in the morning and yet there's nothing to show? Who works very hard and yet there's nothing to show? This is 15 years. This is 20 years. Nothing to show. I prophesy. Every bad battle, it is erased. I receive it. Every battle, it is erased. I receive it. I've got 30 minutes to finish the sermon. Blood battles. Listen, son. Blood! Right. Blood is the highest commodity that can buy destiny. It does not matter how ribonic and catastrophe your problem looks like. Whenever blood is involved, blood has the ability to buy. Blood has the ability, listen to me, blood is the highest currency, right? Blood is the highest currency in the spirit. Is the highest currency in the spirit. That's the reason whenever blood is shed, you invoke spirits, you invoke diabolic spirits. That's the reason. Don't play with a man with a blood covenant. That's the reason most of you, whenever you met that man, you met that man that had a blood, a blood battle, you became a partaker. Why? There was a mixture of blood. Blood battles are not just fought by prayer. They are fought by engaging the blood. Am I talking to somebody here? So blood is the currency to buy in the spirit. You can never buy with your physical currency. You can never buy by your prayer. You can only buy by the shedding of blood. Am I talking to somebody here? That's the reason the Bible says, then God Almighty, he had to sacrifice Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And the Bible says one of the soldiers got the spear and it pierced on the side of his ribs. And the Bible says water and blood came out. You will never, right, you will never come out from that battle before blood comes out. You will never come out from that battle until blood comes out. There are battles, sir, that you can't come out by prayer. That's the reason the Bible said the disciples, they come to Jesus and say, Master, we have been praying, we have been fasting, but demons are not going out. And Jesus said this one. This one. This one. Does not come out just like that. It comes out by prayer and fasting. So there, there are problems that can be answered by prayer and fasting. And there are problems that can be answered by blood. So problems that are answered by blood, you need blood. Engagement of blood. Say blood. blood. Say blood. blood. That's the reason you need to understand the principle of killing. If you must live, you need to understand the principle of shedding blood. Oh, no. 
in the Old Testament, God could not have mercy on the firstborns of God, Israel. Israel had sinned and God put Israel in captivity. And the Bible says Israel was in poverty, being a firstborn of God, yet he was in poverty. Until Israel had the revelation and the Bible said they sacrificed, they killed. They killed. Listen, if you have never killed anything, you will never come out. If you have never killed anything, if blood on the altar has never been speared, you will never survive. That's the reason. Look, look. There are people that are a sacrifice to your breakthrough. There are people that are a breakthrough for your life. So they must be used as a sacrifice. Oh. That's the reason your other uncles they had to sacrifice some other family members for them to better their lives. I don't know who sacrificed you. I don't know who sacrificed your mind. I don't know who sacrificed your destiny. I deliver you from every blood. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Power. They sacrificed some of you before you were born. So they used your star to better their lives. Life is all about killing. Shedding blood. Oh, you don't know. That's the reason I am a spiritual terminator. Oh, yes. I'm a spiritual Holy Ghost naked wire. Oh, yes. You touch me, I burn you. Oh, yes. Look, if you have never killed, you will never come out of that problem. The Bible said they pierced Jesus. And the Bible said blood and water. Blood came out in sevenfold. Number one, they took a crown. They put it on his head. They pierced his, his, his beard. They had to take a spear. They pierced him. I'm not talking to somebody here. They took long, long nails. They pierced his legs. They pierced his hands. Just for your redemption. Look at what kind of problem that Jesus went through for you to be redeemed. Ah. You, you are not ready to shed blood. You are still a believer. You are still a believer. You are still a believer. You. Believers. Being a believer is not everything. The church must come out from the level of believing to the level of sacrifice. They are, they are believers, they are knowers, and they are sacrificers. It's either you are, a, you, you are a dangerous man in terms of sacrifice. That's the reason I tell you that some problems, no matter how much you can pray, no matter how much you can fast, you will never have money. Because there is the key. There is the universal key to your problem. Jesus was pierced seven times. And the Bible said blood and water came out. And when blood and water came out, the Bible says, the will of God was released. Listen to me, every time blood comes out, deliverance is released. You will never be released from satanic bastardizement if blood is not released. If you don't know, you will never have a child if blood is not mixed. Blood battles are answered, are defeated when blood, another blood, a higher blood, a higher vessel, when has been shed. There is nothing that makes spirit to tremble like when blood has been shed. Amen. Solomon, for him to become king, he was a son of a prostitute. Are you listening to me here? Huh? He was a son of pain. He was, he, was, he was a coincidence. He was a coincidence. He was a mistake. The man was a mistake. One day the Lord appeared unto him. And the Bible says he went in the morning to go and sacrifice to 
you shed blood. There is no ministry that has never shed blood. There is no business that has never shed blood. That's the reason. It's either you are shedding holy blood or diabolic blood. When Satanists wants to go forward, what do they use? Hey, what do they use? They use blood. For what? For fuel. For them to be transported from one place to another place. So without the blood, there is no transportation. Oh. Ah. Without the blood, there is no movement. Without the blood, without the blood, there is no fuel. So blood is the fuel. Oh, Karabana. Right. Blood is the fuel. Blood is the fuel that will carry you from one place to another place. I repeat again. Blood is the fuel. Blood is the fuel that catapult your destiny from one place to another place. Without the fuel of blood, you'll be on one position. Without the fuel of blood, your financial life will be on one position. Without the fuel of blood, your ministry will be one po- on one position. That's the reason blood must be shed. That's the reason every car must go to the fuel filling station. For what? For sacrifice. There must be the pouring of fuel. Every car goes to the filling station. For what? For fuel. 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 And it will be there for 10 minutes. It's waiting for what? For fuel. If we don't pour, it will remain there. Most of you are on one position because blood has never shed. Listen to me. Every time, what are the benefits? Right. What are the benefits when blood has been shed? Right. What are the benefits when blood has been shed? Number one, there is destiny guarantee. There is destiny guarantee. There is destiny guarantee. God has given you a guarantee that whatever you shall do. The Bible says, before you came in your mother's womb, I, the Lord, knew you and I formed you as a prophet unto a nation. There is destiny guarantee. You are guaranteed for settlement. Why? Where, Where you are about to go, the Lord has been there. Where you want to go, the Lord has been there. Number two, whenever the benefits of blood, whenever the, the blood has been shed, number one, you are guaranteed for longevity. Longevity, longevity. Life is in the blood. So the shedding of blood every day, it establishes long life. The Bible says, with long life will I satisfy you. With long life will I satisfy you. You are not permitted. You, you are not permitted to die a premature death. You are not die. You are not permitted to die in a car accident. You are not permitted to die a shameful death. You are permitted to live long. Amen. So whenever blood has been shed, you are guaranteed for longevity. I can never die. I can never be sick. I can oh, parato so much. I receive it. You think it's a joke? From the day I started ministry, have you ever heard me that I'm sick? I've been preaching to you from the first day till now. Stronger, fatter, wiser, oh, handsome. Oh. Just to make the devil have it. Oh. Whenever, look, when I told you, as I'm sweating now, I am releasing blood. Oh. As I'm sweating, I am releasing blood. I receive it. So the more I am releasing blood, is the more long life I have. I the more I am releasing blood, is the more wiser I become. I the more I release blood, is the more intelligent I become. receive it. Blood must be released every day. There is a benefit of long life. The Bible says, with long life will I satisfy you. You are not allowed to die like a chicken. You are not a chicken. You are not a god. You are not an animal. You are a child of God. Amen. Number three. 
Number three. Number three. Victory. Amen. Victory. He said the battle belongs to the Lord. I said the battle, it is not yours. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh yes. You have been fighting alone. That's the reason you have been losing. God does not want you to fight. God wants you to engage the blood. He will do the rest. You are guaranteed for victory. Outstanding victory. Prolonged victory. Continuous victory. Amen. Not periodic victory. Continuous victory. Yearly victory. Amen. Any battle you enter, you are guaranteed for settlement. You are guaranteed to win. I receive it. Victory. What is victory? Victory is the ability to paralyze your enemy before his eyes. Right. Victory is the ability to paralyze your enemy before his own eyes. That time, mango him. Choose him. Remove his, remove all the blood out of his bones. That is victory. Paralyzing your enemy, killing him. That's victory. He said the battle, the battle that you see, it is, it is yours. It is not yours. Your duty it is just to engage the blood. When you understand the principle of engaging the blood, God takes over the battle. Are you listening to me here? Are you listening to me here? Yes. When men say it is over, that's when God, Jehovah, over oh. to Jehovah, jump out of He takes over. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. Turn about when men say it is over. When men say it's over. That's when Jehovah. That's when Jehovah takes over. Takes over. And when God takes over. And when God takes come on, shake your neighbor. Tell them neighbor. Neighbor. When the battle it is over. When the battle is over. That's when God takes over. That's when God takes over. And when God takes over. And when God takes over. The battle is over. The battle is over. Power, major. Are you listening? Prolonged victory. I I promise you, I can never lose battles. I am a seed of Abraham. Oh, Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. I carry potential. Oh. I am potential. Oh. I am anointed. Oh. I am paradoxic. Oh. I am oh, parata oh. Tell me about I am paradoxic. I am paradoxic. Tell me about paradoxic. Paradoxic. Tell me about I am paradoxic. I am paradoxic. You touch me, I paraphrase you. Ah, power. Tell me about you touch me. You touch me. I paraphrase you. I paraphrase because you. Because I am a paradoxic man. Because I'm a paradoxic man. Power. Major. is a level when you, you, when you engage the principle of shedding blood where your life becomes still and God takes over your battle. Most of you, listen, most of you, you don't know the principle of shedding the blood. Victory, listen to me. Victory is not for prayerful people. Continue praying for the rest of your life. Pray from January to December. Let's see how many battles you will win. There is nothing. Look, look. When the blood of Jesus has been invoked, it does not, it's not just blood. It is a covenant blood. So victory is guaranteed. When Satan on the cross of Calvary, when he saw the blood, the man began to tremble. The Bible said, then the voice was heard from heaven. There was thick darkness. God was annoyed. Look, whenever God sees blood, he's annoyed. Victory is guaranteed. Number four, vengeance. Vengeance. What is vengeance? Vengeance is the ability for God to ambush his enemies. 
I repeat again, vengeance is the ability, God Almighty, ambushing his enemy, tattering, dealing with his enemies. That's a reason. It's either, that's a reason. The Bible says, if you are for me, then you are with me. If you are not with me, you are against me. So what is vengeance? Vengeance is the ability for God Almighty to sit on the heads of his enemies. To sit on them, paralyzing them, giving them stroke, giving them mouth stroke, giving them leg stroke, giving them neck stroke, giving them hand stroke. That is what we call vengeance. He's a God of vengeance. Whenever blood has been invoked, he rises against your enemies. He begins to protect his own. He said, this is my son. This is my daughter. This is my covenant daughter. I prophesy every blood battle it erased tonight. Blood battles. Vengeance is the ability for God Almighty to deal completely with your enemies. Tell me, are you my enemy? Watch out, you will die tonight. Tell me, are you my witch? Why are you not answering? Say, are you my witch? Are you my witch? If you are my witch, Holy Ghost fire on you. 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 Vengeance. Tell me about vengeance. When look, look, whenever blood has been sprinkled, those are the benefits. Vengeance. I interview, listen to me. I interview was an advisor to David. And the Bible says one day, then Absalom, the son of David, he rebelled against the, 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 the law of the kingdom. And the Bible says he took over the kingdom. And the Bible says David, for nine solid months, he had to run away barefooted out of his house. He went in the bush. And the Bible says he sat on one place. He said, Absalom, Absalom, my son, why do you seek for my life? Absalom, the son of David, became the enemy of David. Listen to me, child of God. There are people that you have been eating with. There are people that you have been sharing secrets with. They are now against you. And you are asking yourself, why did you do this? Why are you against me? What did I do to you? Ladies and gentlemen, when you engage the blood, vengeance is not forgotten. Then, God Almighty can look like he's a damn God. He does not forget. When Absalom rebelled against his father, the son who was a son of glory, he became a son of shamification. Now, the Bible says, I of you followed Absalom. And the Bible says David was worried. David was so much distressed. He said, if the new Ahitaphil and David stood on one place, he said, Ahitaphil, I pray for you that your counsel shall turn into nothing. Listen, he prayed. He said, your counsel shall be turned into nothing. The man who had the counsel like of God, he became like foolish. That's what God does. When vengeance comes, it does not matter how anointed you are. Tonight, God will punish all your enemies. I receive it. I don't like the way you are shouting. I receive it. I receive it. Oh, you think they are done with you? Listen. After Aitafil joined Absalom, the Bible says, David said, may your counsel be like feces. May your counsel be like feces. And the Bible says, Aitafi was giving counsel, but people could not understand what he was talking. Why there was a curse involved. Listen to me, every time when blood has been sprinkled, when blood has been shed, listen to me, vengeance is released against anyone who is against your progress, your destiny, your marriage, your ministry. They be, look, they, look, look, look. What are the signs of vengeance? Number one, premature death for your enemies. Premature death. Premature death. Sickness. Sickness. Untimely death. Financial lameness. 
financial crippledness. The Bible says, all this time, David, for nine months, he was complaining. He said, why, my son? Let me tell you, whenever, whenever you fight against a man who is in covenant, who has shed the blood, God does not forget. Absalom was his, he was his biological son. Do you know how Absalom died? The Bible said the soldiers of David, they began to pursue him. They did not consider whether his blood connected. Oh. They did not consider why he fought against a man who has the ability to shed blood every day. I prophesy, God will never forget your blood. I receive it. Do you know how he died? Huh? Absalom. Can I tell you how he died? Oh, yes. The boy said while he was running on the horse. Running on the horse, running on the horse, running on the horse. <laughs> While he was running on the horse, the Bible says, Nature, the tree, he had long, long hair. He had long hair. And the Bible says, While he was about to pass through under the tree, the Bible says, The tree of thorns, it had to stick on his hair. And the Bible says, All over, the thorns were all over his neck. That's how he died a shameful death. A son of a king died like a pauper. Why? He fought a man who has the ability to shed the blood, to sprinkle the blood, to spill the blood. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. It does not matter who is against you. Ah. Just sprinkle the blood every day. Ah. The Bible said he has called us to the ministry of sprinkling the blood. Ah. Absalom died. Nature had to, the tree had to fight him. The, the star had to fight him. The wind had to fight him. Listen to me. Whenever you are against a man who has the ability to shed the blood every day, to sprinkle the blood, let me tell you, even the wind will fight you. Even the cars will fight you. Even the mosquitoes will fight you. Even the rats in your house, they will still manage for you. man came to me. He said, Papa, who had the ability of shedding the blood every day? And rats invaded his house. They were big rats. You know those rats that before they attack you, they laugh for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know there are some rats that disappear. Huh? You look for the rat, the whole house. It only appears in the night like a witch. That rat, look, one day the man took, he took 90,000 US dollars. He put it in a box. The rat entered the box. It went and began to eat the man half on the middle. Eight, 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 and finished the whole 90,000. Left it half. Whenever you fight a man who has the ability, even rats will fight you. Ah. How can the rat just go and eat half of the money? And on the corner, or just on the corner, finish everything. Where is he going to take that? Is he going to find the piece? The piece is in the stomach. So the, the, the rat must go for operation. <laughs> Are you listening to me here? Vengeance, whenever, whenever, a man who has the ability to sprinkle the blood. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. By the blood of sprinkling. The Bible said we have been called to the ministry of sprinkling the blood. How do we sprinkle the blood? We sprinkle the blood by the spoken word. By confession. The more we confess, we speak the blood. We apply the blood upon our children. Upon our marriage. Upon our ministry. We are excreted. We are exempted. We are excluded from every satanic judgment that's the reason that's the reason in my life in my life I repeat again no accident will ever come near me no accident
accident. Oh, yes. Others can be involved. If the accident must happen in five minutes, I will come five minutes before or, I later, or later. I receive it. God, look, look, God will preserve you. How come? How come? Two minutes on the same spot. You just left, robbers came and killed a person on the same spot. spot. How were you saved? Blood. Huh? Blood. You slept with 50 men. Another one slept with one. The one for 50, no belly. The one for one, in fact, five seconds. Five seconds. He was, he was anointed with twins. It's blood. Blood can be able to set you free and to save you. So number four benefit is vengeance. Number five. Number five. Number five. Listen. Number five. Number five. Whenever you have the ministry of sprinkling the blood, involving the blood, in every area of your life, these are the benefits. Number five. Divine health. I said, one of my daughter called me from the hospital. He said, Papa, I'm sick. I can't walk. I said, what, do you, what are you saying? I said, stand up and walk. Tell the doctor, he must discharge you. And after 30 minutes, the doctor came and signed. She went out. Power. The blood of Jesus is not the blood of a chicken. This is an atomic, godly kind of a blood. Whenever it has been sprinkled, it speaks better things. It does not speak cases. It does not speak crisis. It does not speak limitation. It does not speak divorce. It speaks better things. It is a voice. Amen. Health. Divine health. Divine health. In this church, we have not buried any prominent person. I promise you. Yes. Oh, Pastor Kid, who have you ever buried? I, I, I don't I don't bury my, my leaders. Where, where do you see any more chari here? Where, where do you see any more chari here? Do you see any more chari here? In fact, I don't have money for your cut case. If you die, sort out yourself. Just make up your mind and say, I will not die. Amen. Make up your mind and say, I will not die. I will not die. Say, I will not die. I will not die. Say, I will not die. I will not die. In a car accident. In a car accident. your mind. If you want to die, remember this way said, the prophet said he will not attend. Remember this. The prophet said he will not attend my funeral because I am not allowed to die. Amen. Jesus! <laughs> when Lazarus died, the Bible said they came to Jesus and foretold that the one you loved has died. And the Bible says, Jesus went to another city to go and preach. And the Bible said, the people, they were so much depressed, disappointed. Jesus was trying to tell them that if this man is a beloved, he must not die. Let me do my work. Listen to me. The reason why you must not die, because me coming to your funeral is a waste of resources. I don't hear this. I repeat again, me coming to your funeral, it is a waste of resources. The Bible says, you shall live and declare the words of the Lord. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. There is no Bible. The 
The Bible says, you shall not cast your young. It is a taboo for me to bury you. Oh, you don't know. Power. Uh, you don't know. Voice. It's a taboo for me to bury you as your father. The day I will die. And I'm not dying now. Oh, yes. I receive it. I receive it. Me, I'm not dying now. Yes. I want, I want even, I want to reach 150. My children, I must become a prayer point ah. to my children. They ah. must begin to pray. Say, let this old man die. He has eaten a lot of things. He must. May you become a prayer point to your children. I receive it. Listen to me here. Oh, yes. May your children come to church. He said, What is your prayer point? I want my grandfather. She has lived this, he has lived this so much. The time has come, he must die. Because the man, the man has lived 160. The, he cannot see. He cannot see. He cannot walk. He cannot eat. What is the use? Is a level <laughs> there is a level whereby you live long even your children begin to say papa when are you going to die ah. I want that level where they must carry me now I want to to trouble them I will trouble my generation. I will trouble my generation. At 200, I'll begin to eat meat. At 200, I'll begin to eat meat. Say, Nibatanya, Nama, Nama. Your grandmother, no teeth, but she loves meat. <laughs> Are you listening? Huh? Oh, how many people know, know Ziwaya? Huh? Huh? Ziwaya. You know, uh, Miz. Eh? Maze. And then you just put it on the pad. You begin to fly it. You know it, eh? You know that maze is very hard, eh? And then you begin to eat it. Eh? Or the remaining of popcorns. Those hard, hard, hard ones. Now you give to your grandmother. She's eating. <laughs> eh? The Bible said Moses was strong and his eyes were not dim. There is a level where everything is intact. Where people ask you, how old are you? How old are you? You are 70, you look like you are 50. Ah, you are 50, you look like you are 30. Ah, I am not talking to somebody oh, here. Yes. You know, I've discovered in this church, even women of 70, they look young. Pow! Look very young. And ask the Lord, why? Okay, stand up. Pastor, tell them how old you are. Tell them. I'm chasing 70, 68. Ah. Under the anointing of my father. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Are you listening? Oh, yes. Look, he's, he's 70. Let's say 70. 70. He's one of my oldest pastors. But you see the way he jumped. You, your grandfather, your grandfather at 70, his back was like this. Magogo, Magogo, Magogo. See Magogo. <laughs> Hallelujah. At 70, your grandma, your grandfather. I want to reach a level even at 70 even at 70 when I apply powder at 70 I will apply powder put makeup am I talking to somebody here when I appear when I lift up my hands and praise God you say who is this one ah, measure is our portion when we engage the blood. Healthy. 
is our portion. You know when people, they look at me and say, ah, how old is Papa? If I tell you, you will die. If I tell you what I've achieved at my age, you. You. If I tell you. Look, when blood has been sprinkled, you look a eating when you are 25. Respect of an 80 year old person. Oh, you're not hearing this. Whenever blood has been speaking, people magnify you. Gosh. There are people when they look at me, you can't even stand. You, you can't even stand. You will feel unworthy. Because first the anointing, you will see me big in the spirit. You will see me big in the spirit. And when you see them, they'll be like, ah. Let me first begin to calculate. How old is this man? <laughs> one plus one equals 11. I've given you a, a, an equation. Go and check. If you find when I was born, you are a real prophet. Real prophet. Are you listening to me here? With long life, will I satisfy you? I will give you longevity. You'll be in good health. You will never be sick. Amen. The only maybe you can say me if I'm sick is stress because of ministering to you. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> yes. You don't know you stress me. You don't know? Oh, oh, let me show you. You stress me a lot because your husband wants to kick you he wants to beat you. So I must take his mind and say, Kobodo, Iganaba, Iproto, Iproto, Iproto. Your boss, he wants to fire you. I must take his name. Bring his name. Put on the altar. Eh, Kumbodo, Iganaba, 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 Iganaba. Are you listening? Oh, yes. They want to repossess your house. I said, bring the document. Put them on my feet. Ah. Are you listening to me here? Oh, yes. So, my, you can, me, I don't get sick. I only get sick of stress. Now, the stress that I'm talking about is every day because I respond to your issues. That's the only sickness I have. Pow! That's the only sickness that I have to respond to your issues. So it has become my daily life. I enjoy it now. It is part of me, part and parcel of my life. Why? Because the more I talk to you, the more I solve your issues. That's where God renews my strength. You can ask my wife. She can tell you that this man, not even a day, I should ever hate me and say, I'm, 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 I'm sick. The day. The day. Are you listening? Yes. Maybe flu. Maybe flu. And even flu, it has respect for me. Yes. Pow! <laughs> Some of them, when they have, I don't know whether, whether it's doggy flu or bed flu, I, I, I don't know. It will attack them to the point that they can't even walk. Not for me. A mosquito is afraid to bite me. Because my blood is a virus. <laughs> you are not hearing this. The mosquito must have respect. He said, when I bite this man. Let, let the mosquito shout, blood of Jesus. Ah! <laughs> Lift your hands, say Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the mosquito comes to bite you. He say, ah, blood of Jesus. 
Lift your hands, say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. So healthy becomes part and parcel of your life. Let's do some uh, description of what is blood. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. So blood is an instrument, but let's describe what is blood. Right. Blood is the last card of God. When everything fails, blood cannot fail. I repeat again, blood is the last card of God or blood is the red card of God. When everything fails, blood cannot fail. Number two, blood is the license of every driver on the road. I repeat again, blood is the license of every driver on the road. Every time you must go somewhere, you need to be licensed. Otherwise, if you are not licensed, there are spiritual traffic that will not allow you to enter your destination. So blood is the license for every driver on the road. If you must go from here to Pretoria, you need to have a license. And that license is called the blood. Whenever a traffic officer comes and he wants to impound your car whenever you lift up your license the driver the, the, the traffic officer is paralyzed he has got nothing against you I prophesy the devil can attack you but whenever you can lift up the blood of Jesus his voice is erased I receive it so the blood is the license the license for every driver on the road. Never start a journey without a license. Never be married without a license. Before you marry that man, enter in 40 days or 10 days. It's a combo. John, John, wherever you are, reveal, oh God Almighty. Reveal who John is. How many ladies does he have? And God will say, Jennifer. Hey, Peter. Before you say yes, you first take a license of the blood. You begin to apply it. He said, oh God, I'm about to accept John. Reveal to me who John is. Is he a liar? Is he a womanizer? Is he a universal charger? Does he charge every battery? Tall, long, fat, slim, Brazilian hair, Indian hair, Chinese hair. Uh, uh. Are you listening to me here? So blood is the license for every driver who is on the road to his destination. Whenever you must start a journey, start with the blood. Whenever you must start a ministry, start with the blood. Whenever you must send your children, start with blood. Even my wife, when she wants to go somewhere, say you are protected by the blood. Go now. So blood. What is blood? Blood is the license for every driver on the road going where? To his destination. Otherwise, if you're not licensed, they are devils, destiny assassins. Idoba. <laughs> are you listening to me here? Huh? Before you say yes to that job, you begin to apply the blood. God reveal who is the, who is this boss? Is he a satanist? Who is he? Or oh, he wants to use my glory? Ask God who the person is by the instrument of blood. Are you listening to me here? God, look, look. When Abel died. God could smell blood from a distance. He said, I can hear the blood of Abel. I can hear the blood of Abel. Crying. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There are most of you. There are most of you. Blood. There is demonic blood crying against you. There is demonic blood crying against your marriage. That's the reason you have been in 19 relationships. No one to marry you. 
blood is crying against you. And let me tell you, we are going to talk about what are the things that causes uh, 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 the, 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 the cry of blood to be louder than the blood of Jesus. So blood is the license, the license of every driver. Whenever you must start something, you need to know the mystery of sprinkling the blood. The Bible says, then God appeared unto Moses. He said, tonight, 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 I am about to invade the land of Egypt. What you are going to do, you are going to tell, you will tell the children of Israel to sprinkle the blood. Say the blood. The blood. Say the blood. The blood. And the Bible said, listen, 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 listen. This angel of darkness, let me tell you, the angel of darkness is not afraid of prayer. Whenever you must start a journey, you must bear in your mind that there is angels of darkness. And the Bible says, God gave an instruction. He said, take the blood. You shall take the blood of the lamb. You will take the blood of the lamb and apply it. Splinkle it. Splinkle it. You know what it means? Bring the water. Bring the water. Bring the water. Bring the water. Can I have the water? Can I have the water? Give me the water. Give me the water. Give me water. Bring the water. You shall take the blood and sprinkle it. You shall take the blood and sprinkle it. But how do you sprinkle? Do you go and kill somebody? No. The blood of Jesus is activated by your words. You begin to prophesy. I sprinkle the blood in my kitchen. I sprinkle the blood in my career. I sprinkle the blood in my marriage. I sprinkle the blood upon my children. I sprinkle the blood in my car. I sprinkle the blood wherever I go. I sprinkle the blood in my account. I sprinkle the blood upon my chance. I sprinkle the blood upon my in laws. I receive it. The Bible says, all of them, they sprinkled the blood. Say we have been called. Tell me about we have been called. We have been called. To the ministry. To the ministry. Of sprinkling the blood. Of sprinkling the blood. We sprinkled the blood. The Bible says, when the blood was sprinkled upon their doorpost. Now, let me tell you, the door is an entrance of blessing and curses. So you have an entrance. Oh, you don't know. There are devils that wants to enter you. There are devils that wants to enter your marriage. There are devils that want to enter your ministry. Whenever blood has been sprinkled, it becomes like a resistance. The Bible says, when the angel of darkness so the blood, the Bible says he had to bypass. <laughs> Number three, blood. Blood is an instrument of exemption. <laughs> I repeat again. Blood is an instrument of exemption. Blood is an instrument of exemption, exclusion. And excrecation. <laughs> Blood is an instrument of exclusion. What do I mean? When I talk about exclusion, which means there are things that are meant to attack you. Whenever blood is released, blood becomes a voice to speak better. Which means if they were supposed to fire you, when the boss comes to fire you, when he sees your face, he changes their mind. He changes his mind. Can I give you a secret? Do you want your husband to love you? Every morning, every morning, when you wake up, 
Se kabalia ikadushi. Ilo bodo. Ilo bodo. Ise ilo bodo. Ilo bodo. Ilo bodo. Ipro koto. Ipra kadiga. In your in your room there, while you are doing your powder, he said, "Kaliga badada, he prakataba, he kabara." The moment he sees me, he will give me. That's the reason your husband is a stingy man. He's a stingy man. Why? He cannot release man, and your face is not attractive enough. Whenever the angel of darkness saw the blood, the Bible says he had to stand. He said, "Not this one." Not this one. Not this one. Every assignment against your destiny. I come to prophesy to somebody. Hearing the sound of my voice. You are excluded. You are exempted. You are excluded. In the name of Jesus. If there was a sickness, you know what it means? Exclusion. It's simply what we call intercept. To intercept simply to divert from its original position which means there are things that are assigned against you whenever we release the blood blood becomes like a barrier blood becomes like a catalyst Ooh. if the bullet was coming to you whenever we engage the blood come here I receive it. Can I have another one? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stand there. Take microphone. Take microphone. Stand there. This is what happens. There are people who don't like you. They want to kill you. They don't like how God is prospering you. They want you to use your Yaris. They want you to die. They always speak curses on you. You must tell this person, say you will die. You will die. You will die. Okay? You will die. No! You will die. No. You will die. You know what has happened? I am like a blast. A shield. So he's releasing curses. So the curse will not touch her. The curse will now touch the blood. So it becomes the battle of blood to blood. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. So it is blood of Jesus versus the blood of Satan. Ah. So this one, she cannot die because there is the blood of Jesus. Amen. Wow. They, they can't see her because the blood is a shield. They can't fire you. The blood is a shield. You can't be poor. Ah. The blood is a shield. Oh yes. They can't fire you from work. Oh yes. The blood is a shield. Oh yes. Am I talking to somebody? Oh yes. The blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Oh yes. Than the blood of Abel. Oh yes. Lift your hands, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Lift your hands, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak. Shout this, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Let your blood speak. Let your blood speak. In the name of Jesus. 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 Wow. Oh. So now you are protected because you have the ability to engage the blood via a spoken word. So how do you apply the blood? You apply the blood via what? A spoken word. Via confession. I, I speak of the blood. In my marriage, I sprinkle the blood upon my children. I sprinkle the blood upon my pastors. I sprinkle the blood upon my wife. Amen. My wife, she will not die. Amen. No, she will not die. Amen. The blood of Jesus speak of healing. The blood of Jesus speak of deliverance. Amen. The devil is about to attack your wife. Don't keep quiet. Apply. Amen. Use the weapon. God bless you. So the blood of Jesus. Is a weapon of what? Exclusion, exemption, 
and excrecation. To exempt, it means to pass over. To exclude, it means to put aside for a particular purpose. <laughs> so, look. The, their plan, it was to attack you. Now, as they have come to attack you, they have found that you are a liability. You are, no, no, you are an asset. Now, look, look. They have found that now you are an asset. So, they can't attack you because you are needed. So, they keep you. Say, this one. We can't touch him. He has brain. He has the blood. Me, me the devil. Me, the devil. Me, the devil. He even knows my name. He knows my name in his kingdom. My name, is, my name is written in his kingdom. He said, this guy, the day, the day we give us chance, we'll finish him. The more he begins to send his agents, devils in human forms, I continue to sprinkle the blood. I can never die. I can never be wasted. I can never be wasted. I can never be wasted. The devil, some of you, right now there is a meeting in the kingdom of darkness. Your name is being discussed. <laughs> Are you listening? Okay, let's look at number three points. Three points. What are the causes? Remember, we have described three points, uh, uh, three points of the meaning of blood. Blood is the red card of God. Blood is the license. And uh, blood is the instrument of uh, 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 excrecation, uh, exemption, and exclusion. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, let's look at, let's look at, let's look at what makes people enter into blood battles. Let's look at things that make people to enter into blood battles. Look, there is no battle without the causa. The battle that you are facing, it might be you started it. Number one, I want us to look at this animal called the sex. Blood battles are established via sexual covenant. Sex is a mixture of two kinds of blood. Whenever two people come together, they formulate or they establish what we call a covenant. And there is no covenant without the mixture of blood. And whenever covenant is established, spirits are invited. Fat spirit, lame spirits, blind spirits, they are invited to attack you. Six. Number two. Idolatry. Idolatry. Some of you, your families, your father was a witch doctor. Look at where you're coming from. Your whole entire family, they have never, they, have, they, they were killing people. They were killing people. They were witch doctors. They used to sacrifice demonic, demonic blood on the demonic altar. By that, it established a blood, a blood battle. That's the reason. Whenever they see you, they say, this one belongs to us because it's connected by blood. Some of you, they are, there is demonic blood that is crying against you. Why? There was a blood that was shed years ago. They sacrificed you on the altar before you were born. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who sacrificed you. I don't know where your blood is. I don't know where your blood was put. I prophesy whether it is in the water, whether it is in the shrine. I take it, I give it to you. I receive it. You don't know why. Sacrifice years ago. The whole entire family, the family of so 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 so, they will only save idols. As a result, no marriage. No marriage. No marriage. No marriage. Why? You were sacrificed. Let me tell you, there is nothing, there is nothing that brings, uh, uh, that brings blood battles like idolatry. What is idolatry? Idolatry, it is the ability to worship other gods apart from God Almighty. People, they were worshipping trees. They were worshipping spoons. They were worshipping animals. They were worshipping all manner of things. They forsaked God Almighty. By that, the anger of God was provoked. Who is Joseph? 
Huh? Stand up. Who's Joseph? Joseph is my father. Huh? Joseph is my father. Your father? Yes. Joseph. Father. Come here. Joseph is your father. Your father, there's something that must be broken. You must be released from the family curse. Yes, Papa. Okay. Yes, Papa. You are you are suffering because of Joseph. Huh? Yes, Papa. There's too much polygamy. 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 I don't know. I hear Matuse. Matuse. Matete is the, the, the mother to my father. Huh? Matete. Matete. Yes. Is the mother to your father. To my father, yes. Pow! The Lord says, I must deliver you. They locked your prosperity. Yes, Papa. They locked your prosperity in, 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 in near Limpopo. Near Limpopo. They locked your prosperity. Yes, That's the reason whatever you touch, it fails. Yes, Even your, your losing of your wife, yes, it was demonic. Yes, your wife only suffered for a few days. Yes, few days and she died. Yes, Papa. It's true, Papa. It's true, the way of Aparu Jabali. I receive it. A year 24. A year 24. My father was born on the 24th of April. 24 of April. 24 of April. 24 of April. The Lord says I must deliver this man because he has suffered. I see, I see, I see, I see an evil, an evil port. I see an evil port. Yes, and I hear, I hear the names of your family. The names of your family. The yes. names of your family. They are put in the port there. And the Lord said, I must remove you from every evil port. That's where your finances are, your house. Up to now, you want even to sell your house. Yes, you want Papa. to sell your house because financially, things are becoming so hard. Yes, I prophesy, I don't know who put you in that port. I receive I release you from the evil port. I receive it. I release you from the evil port. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I hear 1924. 1924. My father was born in 1924. 1924. Yes, Papa. 1924. 1924. 1924. The Lord says I must deliver this man. I must deliver this man because the curse is too much. Yes. The curse is too much. Yes. That's the reason in your family. People, they have children. They have children. Yes. And their wives and their husbands, they die. Yes. You look at your sister, it's the same thing. Yes. You look at even you, it is the same thing. The Lord said, I must break the case and I must release you into your destination. The Lord said, there will be so much money that is going to come. I see September, September. The Lord says, September, it is a month to remember. September, it is a month to remember. Take, in the name of Jesus, receive. I receive. 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 Receive. I receive it. Come here, come here, come here. The Lord says, <laughs> Oh Jesus, worship, 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 worship. We, we want to enter a certain realm. Worship God, worship God, worship God, worship God. Worship, lift your hands. Worship God. Listen. The Lord said, I must set you free. The Lord said, I must set you free. The Lord said, I must pray for somebody who is born on the seventh. Seventh. In your family. This person is connected to your father. Yes, Papa. Your uncle. When your father died. Yes, Papa. 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 Mm. This is much. This is much. Yes, he died on March, Papa. March. It was on March. He died in March. Yes, Papa. 20 March. 20, yes, 20, 20 March. 20th March, Papa. Yes, true. Measure! He died on the 20th March. 20th March. 20th of March. 20th of March. 20th of March. Yes, Papa. 20th of March. I receive. Come here. The Lord wants to set you free, sir. I see a lot of grace. I see a lot of grace and I see a lot of battles. Okay? I see a lot of battles. 
you see, you are a struggling man. You are a struggling man and at the same time, you are a blessed man. I see in your family, there is a case where people, they have said, you will never succeed. You will not, you will not rise. You will not rise. You will not rise. The Lord says your hands are blessed, but the, whatever you touch, it fails. It fails. It fails. I saw an angel of the Lord. I receive. I receive it. I receive. Sir, I need to pray for you because there is a major breakthrough that God is about to give you. I receive. This major breakthrough, I see a pastor. I see a pastor. A pastor in you. Okay? But this man is, is not like ordained. He's not like ordained. But the Lord, when he was showing me you in my vision when I was coming here, the Lord said, I must pray because I see a breakthrough that is going to come to you. In a, in a business like of cars, car business, car business, car yeah, business, I receive. car business. I receive. But now you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. I saw you had a shop, like a shop. Yes. You had a shop. Yes. And that shop closed. Yes. You yes. closed it. Yes. Because it's like you had uh, some debts, some debts, some debts. And people were fighting you because of the shop. Is, is it true? true. I see a season of restoration. Turn around three times. Turn around. Even you, turn around. I receive it. 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 Sit down. Oh my God. Who is Emmanuel? Emmanuel. This is Emmanuel at your shop. There's somebody who visited you, Emmanuel, in your shop. Emmanuel, Emmanuel was working for me. He was working for you. Yes. Professor Major. Emmanuel was working for you. I see this. I see this boy, this boy, 27 years, 27 years, 27 years. I see this boy, this boy conniving with people. And from nowhere, they began to steal your money, your money, your money. That's how you came down. Lift your hands. Say, Father. Father. Have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sakamiel. My name is Didi. Who is this one called Equeama? Equeam. Equeama. It's a Nigerian name. Equeam. Equeam, something like that. I'm not sure. Your I'm grandfather. Sure. My grandfather is Uche. Uh -uh. There's this one. E Bring a paper. Bring a paper. Bring a paper. Bring a paper. There's something we need to write. Right, Ekechuku. 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 Right, Ikena. Ikena. The law says anyone against you yes. to sacrifice you. Yes. I see people claiming your blood on an evil altar. If you are not very careful, you would have been you have been initiated into court because there's a lot of people that were advising you. That is true. Is it true? That is very true. Huh? Very true. They are advising you to enter court. Yeah, that's true. Come here. Drop your book. Lift your hands. If I am a prophet, I receive. If I am a major prophet, I receive. I have given you three months. I receive. I see battles in your marriage. In your marriage. Where is your wife? I'm divorced. Huh? I'm divorced. I see too many battles in your marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. Even this divorce, it happened because of your business came down. That is true. Professor Major. And from that moment, you have made a vow. You said you will never marry again. You will never marry. Because this woman, she began to torment you because of your financial crisis. That is true. Yeah. Can I speak to you? You. The Lord is about to remember you. Amen. Do you have a child? Yes, I do. Huh? I do. How many? One. The Lord said I must pray for the protection of your children. Okay? The battle is coming from your father's side. 
your father's side. What do I mean? Your father's side is, is premature death. Premature death. Okay? Do you know what I'm talking about? This premature death. Premature death. And I want to pray for you for you to stay in marriage. To stay in marriage. No one stays in marriage. No one stays in marriage. I want to pray for the grace of God. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Maya Barakatos. I receive. Bring him here. Come here. Come on. Leave him. The curse breaks. Wow. Lift your hands wherever you are. Say, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Shout it on top of your voice. Oh, Come here. Who is this one? Ephraim. 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 Come here. You're from where? Tembisa. You're from Tembisa? Yes, Pastor. Do you know me? Yes, I've seen you. Where? No, I've been here before. I want to pray for you. That God must touch you. I receive. Lift your hands, say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Take this, sir. You will come with a testimony. I receive, I receive, I receive. Thank you, testimony. Thank you, I receive. Okay? I receive. You are, you, you are a crying man. That is true. A crying man, you have cried a lot. That's Even the friends that you had, all of them, they have run away from you. That is so true. Yeah. You call them, you call them, you call them. Even yesterday, you were calling someone. You are calling someone. That for is so money, true. for money. That is true. That is true. The Lord has remembered you. I receive, I receive. I hear the sound of abundance. I receive. I hear connections. I receive. I hear connections. I receive. I hear Ephraim coming. I receive. I hear Christopher. I receive. Coming. I receive. I see them. I receive. They will help you. I receive. I see them. They will help you. I receive. I see them releasing money. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Go. It is done. Put your two hands for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Say thank you, Jesus. Come here. The Lord must set you free. I want you to do me a favor. Okay? Yes, I want you to bring me oil. Yes, I want you to bring me drink. Okay. I want you to bring me water. water. Those three things. Okay. Have you heard me? Yes, Papa. Then, I want to break the curse okay, over your life. Okay? okay? Yes, I want to break the curse. Okay. You're a struggling man. They locked, they locked seven of you. Seven of you. Seven of you. But the law says, September, it is a month to remember. I receive, Baba. I receive. Go. I receive. I want to pray for you. Where is your husband? Uh, my fiance. Call him. Call him. How are you, sir? I want to pray for you, sir. I receive. Is this a policeman? That's correct. Professor! Major! This is a policeman. This is a policeman. This is a policeman. But there's a lot of battles on you. It's true. There's prophet. a lot of battles. It's true, prophet. This is not your first marriage. It's true. Prophet. It's not your first marriage. It's true. There is another woman it's true, that prophet. you broke up with. That's true. Pow! Lift your hands. Worship. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Lift your hands. In Jesus' 
Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry. There's something that I want to pray for. There was time you wanted to kill yourself. There was time you wanted to kill yourself. That is very true. Huh? That is very true. Why? I had a lot of problems. Huh? I had a lot of problems. I see why you wanted to shoot yourself. That's correct. Prophet! There was a time you wanted to shoot yourself last year because of your marriage. You went through a divorce. I went for a divorce in 2010. Huh? I went for a divorce in 2010. What happened? We fought with my wife. Lord, have mercy. I feel like crying. This woman brought problem to you. That is correct. I see this man trying to shoot himself because of what he was told. Now you have a problem. And this problem, you don't know how to come out of it. My life is stagnant. You need healing. Save me, men of God. This man is a very good man. Very good man. But because of this divorce, it has made him, it has made him, it has, oh my God. Are you pregnant? No, man of God, I am. You a lost a child. Yes, I did. Huh? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The Lord must give you grace. I see battles to conceive. I see battles to conceive. These battles, oh my God. Who is born in April? Huh? My grandmother. Your grandmother. Yes, man of God. I must break the witchcraft from your lineage. I receive it. Your father's side. I receive it. In your lineage, no one makes it. No one stays in marriage. I receive it. It's the same with this man. The Lord said, I must pray for you. I must pray for you. And after I pray for you, things will open for you. I receive it. I see even a promotion I receive. that God is going to give this man. I receive. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Mama, can I speak to you? Can I speak to you? There is battle from Kitwe. There is battle from Kitwe. I receive. Okay. Come here. As I am Kitwe, I'm seeing this demo flying again. He's going to Toyando. Toyando. And he's sitting in Toyando. Yes. Huh? What is yes? I stay I stay I stay in Toyando. In Toyando. Yes. is about to set free people. I receive it. As I look at you, I see a nurse. A nurse. A nurse is operating on your child. Where's your children? No. Huh? Nothing. You don't have a child. Yes. That's the reason I said I saw a nurse operating on your child. There is grace for this woman to conceive. I receive. There is grace for you to conceive. But I want to, where is this man? Because I'm not seeing any man. Are you married? No. Because the cry is so much, you want a child. 
You want a child? 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 Yes. I saw a niece operating on the child. I repeat again. I saw a niece operating on the child. This is a prophetic message. You need prophetic wisdom to understand it. I repeat again. The Lord is going to give you a child. The Lord is I going to give you a child. But in a good way. In a good way. The moment you have a child outside marriage, the first child will die. So, pray for the grace of God. I want to break the curse. Have you heard me? I receive. This is a case from your family that you lose the firstborn. Yes. Where is your firstborn? I don't know. Where is your brother? He's there. Huh? He's there. Who got lost? Who got lost? I don't know. Do you know where your brother is? Yeah. Huh? He's here. Yes. Now, there is a case. Who is the firstborn? First one for, for me. In or your family. Huh? Is he normal? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Now, there is battle on him. That's the reason you see he's not settled. That's the reason you see most of you, if you're firstborns, you must pray a lot. All firstborns, lift up your hands. I pray for you. I receive. That God will remember you. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. You will get married. I see the curse being broken. I see marriage for you. I receive. Break. I re Break. She's free now. Pow. She's free. She's free. You are healed. You are healed. Thank you, Jesus. You are healed. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. That lady, that lady with the, is it a lady or a man? This one with uniform. That one. That lady. Is that a lady? Is that a lady? Huh? Is that a lady? I see Shang Yang. Lift your hands. Worship him. Worship him. Just worship him. Worship him. Sir, let me announce to you the Lord has remembered you. The Lord told me to tell you that affliction will not rise again. Do you know your problem? No. Huh? You want to know? Yes. In the night when I was praying, the Lord showed me this man. I could not describe him. I could not describe. So when I looked at him, I was trying to capture because I saw him in the afternoon. The Lord told me to pray for you. Lift your hands, pray in tongues. Diabetes. Diabetes. Huh? Yes. What's your problem? I don't know. Diabetes. <laughs> Come here. Your children are scattered. All your children are scattered. Yes. I don't know how many children you have. There are too many. Yes. Huh? Yes. Some of them you don't know them. No, I know them all. Professor! Who is Dumi? Dumi's. Wisani. Your name is Wisani. Yes. Not Dumisani. Wisani. Professor! I want to advise you. Can I advise you? Where's your wife? Huh? I don't have. Huh? I don't have. Let me give you advice. When you see a man in this age, he's not married, he's not normal. I promise you this. Whenever a man, if you are going to 50 years and you are not married, it's not normal. If you're a woman, you are 60 years, you are not married, you have never been married, it's not normal. I want to advise you, sir. 
The Lord has blessed you a lot. I receive. But I want you to take your children. Okay? Yes. You have too much grace on you. Right. Okay? But I see a financial curse on you. I see construction. Okay. Construction. Right. Okay? Construction. There will be so much grace that God is going to give you in the area of construction. Right. Have you heard me? I hear 11th of May. 11th of May. 11th of May. 2018. By this time around, the Lord will remember you. Listen. Don't waste your don't you waste your energy. Don't waste your energy. Your, your time is too limited. You have got you have got too limited time. Now this is the time now to listen. Whenever you reach 60 years, 60 years, it is time for preparation now. Preparation of your children. Not for you now to begin to jump around, to play around. No, that time has already passed. Huh? When you reach 60, 50, now is the time now you need to begin to prepare about the future of your children, the inheritance of your children, how many houses you have. Praise God. So, you are a good man, sir. You are a good man. I want to advise you. I want to break a certain curse. Huh? God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Jesus name. Lift him. Lift him. Come here. Cut! Leave him. Lift your hands. I'm praying. Bring your hands. Bring your hands. Do like this. Stand up. Do you have a court case? Yes. Huh? Yes. You have a court case? Yes. What is this court case for? We were, we were charged together with my three colleagues. For what? For assault GBH. When I touched him, the law says he has a court case. That must be a break. Must break. Pow! Can I cancel a court case? Can I cancel a court case? Yes, yes, man of God. It's the one that has been giving you headache. Yes, man of God, that's correct. Because you are afraid now you will lose your job. Since 2013. You want it to be cancelled? That's correct, man, sir. man of God. Lift your hands. Can I speak to you? You, that lady. Come here. What a precious woman. Wow. You are a praying woman. I hear the Lord saying that your prayers have reached heaven. A season of remembrance is about to come. I see your hands touching money. I see new doors that are opening for you. The Lord said there shall be settlement. Settlement, settlement, settlement. I see you as a breadwinner, as a breadwinner of your family. That's the reason there's a lot of battles on you. Too much battles, too much battles. And sometimes you don't know where to run to. You don't know where to run to. There's too much, too much battles. But the Lord says he will give you money. And that money, it will help your whole entire family. And I see businesses. I see houses. Ah, come here. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you crying? Something. Oh, Go! Bring him here. I command your curse to be cancelled. 
Listen. Bring. 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 Three anointing oil. Bottles of anointing oil. Bring them. And my God will touch you. Where is your mom? She's at home. Huh? She's at home in Soweto. I don't know what this is. Father, give me grace. Let me speak to those that are ready. Give me grace. Can I speak to you? something in your womb. There's something in your womb. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Whenever the Spirit of God is moving, you throw yourself in it. You throw yourself. Come here. Come. Come here. Stand here. Huh? Yes. It was for what? I had a scissor with my small phone. Huh? I had a scissor with my small phone. Now, I want to pray for you. In a vision, I saw this woman hanging herself. I saw you killing yourself. Because of frustration. There was too much frustration and loneliness. Too much loneliness. You are like a father. You are like a mother. And now battles are too much on you. You don't have where to run to. Listen. If you lost something, God is the reason you have not lost everything. Amen. I see increase. I want to save you from cancer. 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 There is cancer. There is a spirit of cancer in your family. An aspect of cancer has been killing a lot of people. The Lord says I must save you and also I must pray for your hands. Can I have oil? Can I have oil? Can I have oil? Can I have oil? Kneel down. Kneel down. Oh, Shabbat. The Lord will lift you. Are you listening? Huh? The Lord will lift you. I receive. Okay? The Lord will lift you. I receive. Why do I see two children? Sorry? Why do I see two children? Three. No, no, two. I'm seeing two children. How many boys? I have three boys. Huh? Three boys. Three boys. Do you have anyone who was born in March? Huh? April. Do you have anyone who is born in March? Huh? Where is the father? My father. The father of the children. We are divorced. Huh? Long time. You are divorced. Long time. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. I said this woman, she's a what? She's lonely, she's a father, she's a mother. In March, one of your sons, the Lord will remember him. The last born. The last born. God is going to remember your children. Have you heard me? I see a spirit of alcohol following you. Okay. A smoking. Smoking. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Smoking. Smoking. Okay. Upon your children. Do you smoke? No, I don't. What about your children? No, none of them. Yeah, I see, I speak, I see the spirit of smoking okay. upon your children. You must pray a lot. Okay? Yes. The Lord is going to protect your children. I see much. It's a month of grace. For your children. Have you heard me? And you need to find a place where you can grow. Attack is too much on you. You can't even sleep in the night. You can't sleep in the night. You are stressed. Sometimes you just sit up to zero three. You don't know what to do. 
I anoint you with this oil. Say, I receive. I break every battle. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Bring your hands. In the name of Jesus. I receive. By this time around, I, I see God remembering you. I, I see receive. a ministry in you. I see a ministry, a strange ministry in you. The Lord is going to exhort you like the horn of oil. And you shall enter in places that your family has never entered. Go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus. Put your two hands for Jesus. Kneel down. Open it. Instruction. This Sunday, all of you are coming with what? Huh? Salt and oil. No, just one. Just one, it's okay. When they see your face, that judge, when she sees your face, she will favor you. God will give you words to speak in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go. When they see you, they will favor you. Your case is cancelled. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands wherever you are. Say, Father, I engage. The blood of Jesus. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Lift your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus shall speak for me. Shall speak for me. Shall speak for my children. Shall speak for my children. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sit down. That man there. That man there. That man. There's something to do with the mind. 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 There's something to do with the mind. 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 Where, where do you work? Where do you work? I'm not working. I said there's something to do with the mind. Have you heard me? Yes. Huh? Yes. If I was you, I would have received. I received. I've said, I've seen some things coming from the mind. There'll be a breakthrough that God is going to give you. I receive. I see mine. Have you heard me? Come here, sir. The season of dryness is over. Bring your hands. Bring your hands. You will not experience any financial dryness. You are born a millionaire. You are born a millionaire. You are born a millionaire. I receive. I see, I see money. I see money on you. I receive. But I see battles from your mother's lineage. Okay? Yeah. I see battles from your mother's lineage because your mom, her heart is broken. Yeah. Broken. It's broken. Because of something that happened with your father. Yes. With your father. Yes. Because there's something to do with a separation. A separation. Well, my, my real father passed away when I was six months. Huh? And then my stepfather he took you. shot my mother and killed himself. Come here. There's something to do with your mother's side. The curse must not follow you. You will enjoy your marriage. I receive. You will enjoy your marriage. You are a I good receive. man. You are a very good man. I receive. But every time when you look at what happened, sometimes you cry. You cry a lot. You cry a lot because this thing is mysterious. It's mysterious. Up to now, police have tried to investigate what really happened. They even don't know. This is demonic. This is demonic. The Lord says affliction will not rise again. I Come here. Take oil. Two oil. And bring it here. Paradox. Come here. You're from where? Saúl. 
this is a Aramaic what I'm speaking Am- about. This is what's your name? Mahalet. Mahalet Sau Devi. Mahalet Sau Devi. Very soon you get married. Very soon. You know what I mean? Huh? You know what I mean? Huh? Where's your fiance? Elimbopo. Huh? Elimbopo. Yeah, very soon. You get married. I said very soon. You get married. Huh? Just remain faithful. Salam no? Salam no? Dana no? Dana no? Jesus get ano? Amen. 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 Wow. Lift your hands. Say Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For your praises. For your praises. Bring oil, sir. I anoint you. Kneel down. Tell me what do you want? Kneel down. My marriage to be to withstand everything and a joyous life, a life free. I've told you issues. that whatever happened to your mom will not happen to you. I You're a good it. man. There are people that are just good. They have a good heart. Have you delivered? Huh? You've delivered. Yes, I've it happened delivered. very fast. <laughs> no, it was my mom. No. In the labor ward, you did not take time. Oh, yes. True man of God. True. Power! She did not take time. True. The baby became like a jet. The baby came out. Which baby? It's a it's a boy. The way I prophesied. It's a boy, yeah, yeah. The way you prophesied. Pow! What's the name? It's Gundolash. It means our victory. Wow, that's good. In the name of Jesus, my son, I anoint you. This oil will speak for you. Bring your hands. Every curse fighting you, I receive. I lose you from it. In the name, In of, the name Jesus of Jesus, Christ, I receive. Stand up. Yeah, good man. Where do you work? Um, I actually had left work, and then yes, that well, in the last few weeks, I didn't even go looking for work, and it came looking for me. So I'm supposed to start at the OH. Bring your hands. I see you becoming a manager. I receive. Okay? I receive. In the name of Jesus, stretch forth your hands towards this man. The Lord will lift you. The Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name. I receive. Amen. Amen. Apply this for 16 days and you will receive favor. I receive. Put out your hands for Jesus. Jesus Thank you, Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. I decree and declare declare my life. Is transformed, is transformed in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Put our two hands for Jesus. <laughs> this Sunday, we have an amazing service. You bring salt and you bring oil. Okay, I will show you according to scripture. We are going to use Second Chronicles chapter number four. What is that?
is that? Put our two hands for Jesus. So, don't forget to come with the oil. Don't forget to come with the salt. Praise God. Our service is going to start very early. Please, we're going to start very early. Those who have got testimonies, listen, those who have got testimonies, when you come with your testimony, please see Pastor Keith, register your testimony so that we can take your testimony. Praise God. Don't just come randomly, please. See Pastor Keith or any of the pastor. They'll write your testimony so that we call your name. Praise God. Praise God. So, can I see those who are fasting? Those who are fasting, can I see you? I told you to bring something. Did I? I told you to bring something. To bring. Huh? Huh? Did you? Where is it? Huh? You drink at home. You like drinking. I was asking you deliberately. Hallelujah. All my viewers, may the Lord bless you. I want to invite you this coming Sunday for a powerful service. A powerful service. God is going to touch you. Come with your salt and come with the oil. Not the oil from any place. The oil from here. Take my oil. The blood of Jesus. And also come with any drink. Any drink. Yeah. Any drink but not alcohol. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. Put the two hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is faithful. All those that are having tithe, rush with your tithe. 